Welcome to Stone Watch. This is my open spoiler discussion from Marvel Studios Loki. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, after watching Loki episode six and going back and rewatching the whole entire season again. I gotta say it was pretty damn good. Now I'm not gonna say this is like my most favorite MCU Disney Plus show so far because it's not. It pretty much ranks at number three out of the three we've gotten so far. I mean, I'm not saying it was bad or whatever, but it's just like it seemed like it went up and down. I mean, I like the first two episodes. Episode three was was okay. Episode four was really good. Episode five was kind of okay, and episode six was kind of you know it was confusing. I mean, it was confusing, mainly because I am not all that familiar with the Loki comic book lore, and I'm not really all that familiar with the King comic book lore. You know what I'm saying? So it, when it came right down to it, I felt I was like really confused. Now, I, I could have gone in a deep dive and did some major research as I was watching the show, but I kind of wanted to see what how they presented it on the screen first because that's always been the coolest thing about the mcu you didn't really have to go back to the comics and like get all schooled up that way you knew exactly what was going on they always created a story that you could follow no matter where you started from and you would enjoy it now i did enjoy loki i did like it for the most part but a lot of it was kind of confusing and i have to say Loki kissing Sylvie. Now, they weren't already like kind of like the same per person. It'd be like, it'd be kind of like really touchy. But because seeing how they are kind of like the same person, it's kind of like kissing yourself, right? I mean, it was just, it was kind of weird. I mean, after they established they were both Loki and they were basically the same character and then he's there kissing each other and it, it was just kind of weird. I, ha I mean, that was weird, right? Is that just me? Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Now, Jonathan Majors joins the cast in episode six as the He Who Remains, aka Mortis, aka Kank. At least we know he's going to be king at some point because we already know that jonathan majors was casted as king for the ant-man 3 movie which is coming out in a couple years from now which kind of makes me wonder because like when kevin foggy originally said that wandavision spider-man 3 because we didn't know the title of it at the time so spider-man no way home and doctor strange Two, in the multiverse of Manus, we're going to have a, a interconnected story. He didn't really say anything about Loki being connected to that also, which I don't have a problem with whatsoever. It kind of adds a little bit more to it. Now, if it would have been going by that schedule that they originally had when they first announced Phase 4, would we be, or let's, not we, if, would I still be kind of confused on what's going on right now? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the way these shows and stuff are coming out right now is as a result of the you know the global pandemic so nothing is coming out the original way it was supposed to so i kind of wonder how important was this to actually be released when this was scheduled to be originally released again i'm not saying i don't like loki i liked it a lot and seeing how it's set up and they pretty much said that there's going to be a season two so we know the story is going to continue but exactly where is this story going to pick up at because Doctor Strange is going to happen before we see Loki season two, and Spider Man No Way Home is going to happen before we see Loki season two, or is that going to happen before we see Ant Man in the Quantum Mania? Is that we're going to see a Loki season two before that? Because we already know we're going to see Kang in that one too, right? And we already seen at the end of this one that like, that's who's coming up as the main villain because he said so before Sylvie stabbed him with her sword. He was going to come back and it was going to be multiple variants of him, so it was going to not be what they wanted right so which i thought that was really cool when like loki got booted out of like immortus's throne room he ended up back in the tva and when he went to go talk to mobius and b15 and stuff like that and they didn't recognize who he was so like the time has already reset somebody was saying it was kind of like the back to the future and stuff like that after he changed what he did in the past and then when he went home like his whole reality was different so that's where we're at now his whole reality is different nobody remembers who he is except for sylvie who is still in kang slash mortis's palace at the end of time or at least that's where she was. I don't know if that's where she's going to end up being here come in season two, which makes it even more confusing. Because again, the next part of the story for this multi-merse of Adonis thing is going to be Spider-Man 3, which that doesn't drop until December. So kind of makes me wonder, when, where are we going to pick up the story for season two? You know what I'm saying? And with Shang-Chi and Eternals being released before Spider-Man, is anything going to happen to either one of those two movies that's going to feed into this storyline even more? Because even with the original MCU release date, those two movies were going to be out well before Loki season one even hit Disney Plus. So again, where it brings us right back to the other question: How important was the original timeline for the MCU release schedule? Would that make what was going on make even more sense? 
right? I mean, I'm all okay with this whole multiverse madness thing as long as it doesn't go on for like years and years and years because right now, I'm confused, name of the show. So it's like, I'm just wondering where we're going to go with this story next. So I don't know, ma'am. Did you watch Loki's episode six? What'd you think? Let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about this thing as a series as a whole? And like I said beforehand, I went back and rewatched the whole entire series before I went to go make my video. I mean, I watched every single episode back to back, skipping the previous beforehand. I even skipped the one credit scene that we got out of six episodes for Loki season one. I just skipped it and just went straight from one episode into the next to see if how well it flowed into one big story. And I gotta say, it's still kind of confusing as far as I'm concerned. So, oh, I spotted one of the hair carriers in the void with Loki and Sylvia and stuff like that. So it kind of makes you wonder what exactly happened with that thing that wore it to end up here, right? Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And I gotta say, I am hoping that we get another episode of Marvel Studios Assembled. Now, they followed the same pattern they did with the last two series we should be getting our behind the scenes look for loki this wednesday when another episode would have dropped had it been longer than just six episodes so i'm looking very forward to that i like watching that kind of thing even though it's usually where the green screen all that stuff is at but i'm really curious to see how actually they shot this series and i want to know if they actually used the volume to shoot this series because i know they're using it for uh, thor love and thunder so i'm kind of wondering whether or not if anybody else took advantage of that thing you know what i mean let me just think about that in the comments down below so what did you think about Loki season one? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, I kind of liked it. It's not my most favorite MCU Disney Plus show so far. I have to say as of right now, if I had to rank them, I'm going Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision, and Loki season one. I have to say, even with Falcon and Winter Soldier, I did not notice that they actually said there was going to be a season two at the very end of the credits, kind of like what it did for Loki announcing season two. I didn't see that until just recently, but I am so looking forward to that story going on. And when that story completed, I was not as confused with that as I am right now with Loki. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.